So this is the tree. As you can see, it has a significant amount of rot from a lightning strike several years ago. In addition to the rot, it had a large crack that started going up the center of it. So it was already pretty sketchy. Uh, in addition to this, all of the weight was pulling off the exact opposite side from these two large branches here. Uh, so I didn't want to just uh, drop it from the ground. Uh, I was afraid it was going to barber chair on me. So the uh, plan was to climb it, uh, take those two branches off to uh, kind of evenly distribute the weight, make it more centered, and then drop it from the ground. Uh, while I was up there, I did put a rope, and then I went and put a 5 to 1 with a capture device, a capture hitch. Uh, so that nobody would be, you know, in the felling path. Uh, so then let's see how it went. it's heavy and stiff and so you can flip it around real easy. I didn't have one so I'd use my climbing rope which is real light and flimsy so I just couldn't flip it at all. So it was just a nightmare getting it around the bark and around all of the little knots and everything. Once I got up to that main crotch and it thinned out it was real easy but that really big section was just a pain in the butt. Okay so now that you've got that down what what is next? Uh, I'm going to yeah. go down into the forest and rig up a 5 to 1 uh, mechanical advantage system. So, and that a is... bunch of pulleys. Okay. So, for every foot or every pound that you're pulling, it's going to pull 5 pounds on the tree. Just oh, to right. add a degree of safety is all a little insurance. <laughs> 